praise the Lord everyone and happy Wednesday I hope you guys this Wednesday is off to a great start um, so today um, is Wednesday woman but there is something else that has been pressed upon my heart that I would like to talk about today um, so as always let's get started with the prayer so dear Heavenly Father Lord we thank you for your goodness we thank you for this day that you have given unto us Lord I just pray right now Father God that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be found acceptable in your sight for you are my strength and my redeemer Lord I bless and I praise you Father God for all that you have done and all that you will continue to do in our lives Lord I thank you Father God for the good bad and the indifferent days Father God in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you God that even though we see evil things happening around us and that there are dark times Lord that you are still a light Father God and you are still the God who is protecting and shielding and covering us oh God in the name of Jesus Lord you are Alpha and Omega Father God in the name of Jesus Lord and because you're the beginning in the end you know everything in between father god and every part that's in between plays a vital part so lord we just surrender ourselves to you on today father god in the name of jesus lord and we ask that you would have your way oh god in the name of jesus lord i decree and declare lord no weapon formed against us shall prosper father god in the name of jesus lord your words say that you will make uh, a man's enemies at peace with them father god in the name of jesus Lord. So, Lord, I pray, God, that as we go into this day, Lord, and those who are coming in later and they hear this message, Lord, I pray, Father God, that they will change their mindset and the trajectory of today, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you would just have your way and that you would move in our lives like never before, Lord. And I pray, God, that whatever the enemy tries to use to distract or derail us, God, that we will stand, that we will stand, oh God, that we will stand on righteousness that we will stand on holiness, Lord, that we will be good stewards of your name, oh God, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus, I pray, God, amen and amen. So I bless you guys on today, God bless you guys on today, God bless you. So um, I want to talk about being sold out for God in a dark world, and um, sometimes, you know, we can almost get adapted to the things that are around us and not realize who we serve and why we serve them. And, um, you know, I heard a woman once say that, you know, um, everything isn't for everybody. So if this word is not necessarily for you, if you are standing, st standing strong, you know, put this in the archive. You may need it at a later date and time. But I want to tell you that people respect those who stand on their principles and their beliefs. Do not be shaken in your workplace. Do not be shaken in your workplace. Because if you're going to suffer something, wouldn't it be great to suffer for the kingdom of God and his righteousness? I mean, you're going to have problems. You're going to have trials and tribulations. But do not soften the blows <laughs> by getting out of the will of God and coming off your post they couldn't get Nehemiah to come off that wall they just couldn't do it he had a mission he had an assignment and he went forth with that mission and that assignment and I'm encouraging you on today as well go through with your assignment on today go through with what it is God has told you to do that you know God has told you to do so that he can use you mightily. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna hold you guys alone. This is just something that I want to reiterate to you guys to make sure that you are standing firm in your faith. Because if you don't stand firm in your faith, someone will come and knock you from the, the weak foundation that you have. That's why it has to be entrusted in God and that you have to stand for God. Because if not, you will find yourself in a way where you will find yourself going in a situation where you're not standing for him and other people will see it and they'll begin to derail you they'll begin to get you off your course they'll begin to invite you to things that you normally would not have been invited do not be accepted of the world the bible says that a friend of the world is an enemy of god don't be an enemy of god stand for righteousness don't give up i don't care how bad it looks i don't care what you're going through how you feel any of those things i'm saying stand for righteousness stand for holiness and watch the lord see you through and seeing you through does not mean your outcome it just means that he'll be with you in the midst so in all things we bless you guys and have a wonderful wednesday